Is it a chupacabra? Is, mm, no, that's a snake. Uh, <laughs> Right? Isn't yeah, a chupacabra it, a It's snake? powder. I no, believe. chupacabra is not a snake. What is a chupacabra? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking of an anaconda. <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> this week we drink beers from Eagle Park Brewing in Wisconsin. This is episode 62 of the Malting Hour. What's the hats on the hops guy? He's that's beast. This is the Malton Hour where we talk about our drink and tell you what we think every other week. And if we get drunk, well, we might slur our speech. Got the gift of gab, the friends you wish you had. Join us for a drink, join us for a laugh. Time is never wasted, where you getting wasted? The Malton Hour here, people, people take your places. People, people take your places. Welcome to the Malting Hour, episode 62. I'm one of your hosts, Tony Golick, joined always with Brandon Winninger. And back from his escapades of not being on the last episode, Clark Fetridge. <laughs> well, I mean, you were on the After the Final Pour, but the actual full episode, you are not on. Which is weird to say because the After the Final Pour, we're recording after this episode, so I'm all out of sorts. This is crazy. Anyways, welcome back, uh, and as your penance, you bought beer for today, Clark. I did. <laughs> I did felt you? so bad I had to <laughs> reach out my hand of uh, joy and bring tidings. And good cheer. Yeah, I'm all out of sorts, too. Yeah. This is, this is a weird time to record. <laughs> uh, actually, got a quick question. Were you upset? Uh, were you sad about... Is there still a lead in this? <laughs> uh, were you sad there about... Was. Yeah, there was a little... <laughs> were you sad about missing the Hubbard's Cave episode? Yeah, I was. I was. I was. It sounded delicious. It was. It was fun. I've yeah. never had the German chocolate cake one, so well, I've got one in my house now. Ooh. Save it for our camp. Oh, that you're not coming camping. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just taking care of two boys for a week, a week plus. You get, you're gonna record. An it's kind of like camping on its own. Yeah. You're gonna do your own episode. I am. I'm gonna do it after the boys go to sleep. <laughs> after the boys go to sleep. Clark is drinking. Gonna be drinking a lot more than just one beer. I can tell you that. Ooh, like, oh, Clark busted out the bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, uh, Clark, you did uh, you did bring some. some I did. Beers well, for us. we've you... been doing our vacation beers, and I was in Milwaukee for a work trip mm-hmm. uh, for it's work. Not vacation. Yeah, it's not. Vac- so, it's not yeah, vacation. but this is a work trip episode beer. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. See where I'm going with this? Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Work trip. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I, would, I, would, well, uh, <laughs> I was up in Milwaukee for a night. I thought, of course, I'm going to go to a brewery. Plenty of breweries. I know you, both of you, did you go up there? Oh, yes. Two of you? Did yeah. You there? Uh, we went for Many a bachelor ago? party. Oh, Mike's, maybe that's Mike's what bachelor party. We only ended up at one brewery, and that was enough. Was that Lakefront? That yeah, was Milwaukee Brewing. Oh, Milwaukee. And we got <laughs> annihilated. Yeah, you know, but the cool thing about that was, so we were supposed, like, well, we wanted to do the tour, but the tours were sold out. We got in there. Who was it that went in there and, like, finagled? Stan. Yeah, he, like, finagled the guy, and he's like, it's a bachelor party, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, all right, fine. They let us all in. Yeah. And it was well, stupidly, before our tour started, <laughs> we went right. to the bar next door and we like we started yeah. drinking there. And there may have been shots, yeah. Um, Ooh. and then we went to the brewery, we're, we're did our damage there, and then like we were beer. more or less done. For, like, I know we went out to a bar at one point, <laughs> yeah. And we were at the bar, and I remember there was a pizza place next door. And I think twice I walked over there and got a slice of pizza. As did <laughs> oh I. Oh my god! Yeah, we well, what we did after the after Milwaukee Brewing after doing the tour there, right down the street was this Mexican restaurant. Oh yes, it was also yeah. my birthday. So when we went there, right. yes. We did shots tequila there. Oh. So just from being at the bar next door, did a couple shots, then drank a bunch of beer at Milwaukee. So much so that I bought a case of their pumpkin beer while we were up yes, there. Yes. Because it was like... It's a case, huh? I split it with uh, <laughs> Cousin Paul. I think it was a porter. Uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was really good. I really liked it. Um, I'm going to get that for an episode. I brought the little mini keg of Hop Slam. That's right. Which we... <laughs> Did we even get into it? We opened it, and then I think like I think I had one beer out of it. Beers yeah. were poured from it, and, and that was realized it. Realized it was time. Yeah. So after after dinner or or lunch, uh, we were all pretty much done. We went back to the hotel. Some of us slept for a little bit. That was me. And then we got back up, went to the bar in the base in the basement. <laughs> went to the basement bar. Went to the bar in the lobby. Had a beer there, and then just 
ventured out. We found the one Blackhawks bar, though, and we were able to watch oh, some, yeah. some, right. some hockey bar. That was cool. Anyways, that's Sounds our Sounds like a lovely time. Yeah, it was a good time. No, but good uh, time. obviously a lot of breweries there, so yeah. I wanted to, to head to one, maybe two. That looked very interesting, and I'd never been to a brewery up there, so anything would be new to me. Mm. So I went on to the uh, Facebook group, uh, Chicago Beer Craft Beer Enthusiasts. Yeah. Something yeah. along those lines. You got it. And that it's is good to search shout a city, out, so out. people are going, I'm headed to blah, blah. Where should I go? So I found a, a trail of comments about Milwaukee and Eagle Park Brewing Company kept popping up. And everyone was saying, this is the place to go. you got to go here. If you're going to go to one, go to this one. I said, all right. Took a look at the website. A lot of cool things. So is, is that, are that all three are from? All three. So technically, this place. is an Eagle Park Brewing episode. Dun, dun, dun. Technically, it is. Hmm. So forget your work. And I think it's the way there. to go. And if we ever go up there anytime, I think I'm going back. And I said that to my wife. I said, if we ever go to Milwaukee... <laughs> Well, Tony and I will be, will be sure to stop there on the way back from our camping trip. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's two there's two locations, hmm. two locations, one uh, uh, close to the to the lake and a little bit west uh, of the city. That's Which, one I went to. The one west of the city. Yeah. Although I do have a hard time going to Milwaukee and not wanting to go to Lakefront because it's a, such a pretty. It's well, a that's cool where spot. my mind. I've, I've never been there. I was like, oh, I'll just go to Lakefront, and then I, I was west of the city in a little, uh, little suburb called Brookfield, so it would have been a half hour drive to get to Lakefront. But mm. yeah, it's a cool spot, and it, it's very German beer hall esque. Really? Yeah. Um, and if I remember correctly, they serve like you know we can get like pretzels and all that other kind of stuff. So, um, and it's right on the river. So if you like go, there's a door that goes out the back, and the river's right there. And I think they normally have tables just like lined up so you can like sit along the river oh, wow. and like have a beer. So that's uh, that's why I've, I've always gone there, and I've done the tour. I think like two or three times like tw- cool. that I've gone there. Um, and like for anyone that's ever done it, um, or anyone that hasn't done it, little spoiler at the end. They have the canning line from uh, oh, Laverne and Shirley. Oh, fun. So they always do like a little like tribute to it and they have put a glove on the thing and just kind of run. <laughs> they have it like set up right there at the end because when that brewery shut down, they went Took in there down. and I guess they purchased it. Um, and that, that was the one that they said was used in the in the opening scene. So they're like, we got a little piece of history here. So That's awesome. It's, yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah, I think, I've, I think maybe you've told me that before. But yeah, I've, I've only had Lakefront beers. I've never been there. Yeah, and they do they do good beers, <laughs> which is funny because I, Tough I, I don't think they have a lot of. If I remember correctly, Clark, maybe you can look this up, but I don't know if they have. They don't lean towards like tr- like just straight up German styles. I know I've had like I swear I've had, I've had, IPAs yeah, and yeah. Like stuff like that from them. I have, um, but then going in there and it's that whole German beer hall feel. It uh, uh, it's pretty neat. So, are these glasses over here? Are these ones we're using? Yeah, we can use those. All right, let's. Uh, Let's crack into the first one. That's uh, uh, I'll, Clark. Uh, here, why don't I give you these cans back? Oh, you can, perfect. Uh, tell the kids what we're drinking. Well, the first one we're going to open is called Handy Andy. And for all you uh, old time Chicagoans out there, we remember Handy Andy, kind of a, I guess a poor man's Menards. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like crafty beef. Back in the day. Like yeah. Crafty beef. Crafty beefs. But Handy uh, Handy Whereas Andy. My dad calls it Eager Beaver. Okay. Yeah, that's a real thing. I'm like, Dad, that's not what it's called. You know what? You know, <laughs> yes. I kind of sidetrack. Clark, I do appreciate the fact that you were trying to pace yourself and you brought yourself tiny glasses. I do have more than like a million well, taste glasses. I, 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 I knew that, but it was also like, all right, this time I'm not going to leave seven glasses on Brandon's bar for him to clean up. Well, I, do also, I was like, I, like maybe someone will stay, we'll start using the plastic ones. Who knows? Yeah, Little wine glasses. I leave, I leave a bunch of glasses for Brandon when I house it. Yeah. <laughs> you just come in and he lets you like, have a couple. Yeah, new glass. <laughs> he just leaves them there. Need a new glass. All right, so uh, what kind of beer is Handy Andy? We're drinking a triple New England IPA. <laughs> Jam-packed with cashmere hops in both the Whirlpool and in secondary. Cashmere. 10%. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing this right today. Cashmere. It is not uh, hazy. Lunch. Muskego, Wisconsin. I mean, yeah, kind of, but... That's where they're from. Triple New England style IPA. Hopped heavily in the whirlpool, then dry hopped. All cans good, there, baby. I like the can display. It reminds me of uh, I had said the uh, good guys uh, from Child's Play that design there, but I don't think that's the route they're going. But Handy Andy, I mean Andy Barkley is the name of the ca- the main character. Hey, Child's Play. Oh, so you're breaking down all the clues. Breaking down big time, and he's got you that know probably blue, don't exist. He's so. got blue suspenders on. That's what Chucky wore. So there's blood know. all over the back of it. Which yeah, is really weird. Also, there's something in <laughs> that voodoo. That was the odd part. There is there's voodoo written on the back. <laughs> Insert child's play sound <laughs> clip. Here we go. 
Hmm. That does not taste 10%. I was going to say that. And it also, <laughs> I don't get, I mean, I guess with a lot of triple IPAs, um, I get a lot, a lot of hoppiness. It's hoppy for sure, but I, you know, if somebody told me this was like a, maybe a double, I would have been like, sure. okay. Yeah. 7, 8%, something like that. Because it, like, the hoppiness, I'm not getting like overly bitter. No. I'm getting sweet. I'm getting, um, there's a little tinge of pine. Um, but nothing that's like packing like a bitterness. It's like almost border no. like borderline a little too sweet for me. I it's get, very sweet. Yeah, uh, on the like the melon side of absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that I, sweetness. It's not. Uh, yeah, Which that's, I don't tend to love. I mean, I, I like this. It's yeah, nice. it's good. Yeah. It's it's not it's uh, it's not something that I would probably go and seek out if I'm looking for a New England IPA type of uh, True. beer. Yeah. But it is a New England IPA, right? Triple, yeah, triple. triple. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, melon. That's a good. That's a, a good descriptor there, because that is what I'm getting. I'm getting like a, it's almost like a, a cantaloupe sweetness. Yes, cantaloupe. Yeah. Thank you. Know? you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's kind of what I get from it. And the oh, aroma. Yeah, <laughs> the aroma isn't very strong either. No, um, but what I do get that's more that to me comes off more as citrus than melon, almost like yeah. mango. Kind of like a mango-y. A little bit. Or a More tropical stone. Yeah. than... Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely not like stone fruit or anything like that. What, um... Sorry, I mean, I know you're no, about to say okay. Clark, what, what type of, um... Hops. Oh, yeah, well, they use cashmere, but what's... Do you have a descriptor of uh, cashmere you can pull up? Because yeah. I know I've had Cashmere Hero from uh, Revolution, That's and right. I'm sure I've had some other beers that had cashmere in it, but I'm not... I've never brewed with it. Yeah, it says it uh, showcases flavors lemon, lime, and melon... Uh, smooth bitter, bitterness and is mildly aromatic with a subtle herbal bouquet. Oh, there you go. That fucking sums up exactly the way we... <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kind of all picked like, it up. There's a little citrus, yeah. mild <laughs> aroma, and there's melon. That 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 is... See? Beer geniuses. Mm, beer, welcome right to here. the Beer Genius Podcast. Yes. Finally, I, see I know what it's like to drink a cashmere sweater. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I'll trying to remember what I thought about that. I trying to get that joke the... in for a while. <laughs> you did I, it. I feel like... I'm sure I drink more cashmere hopped beers than I think I do, but sure. I, I guess I you don't, don't. often. Well, <laughs> maybe. But yeah, really? I'm going. What do I taste here with a cashmere? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not 100. percent I'd like to revisit uh, Revolution's Cashmere Hero because I don't remember it tasting like this. I just Revolution's Hero series. They're all pretty bitter to me. Because we won't get sued, can we subtly just play Led Zeppelin's Cashmere like mm. very light? There's a lot day. we could put in here so far. <laughs> you know, just play yeah, play Cashmere under underneath this whole conversation <laughs> like just right like now. Lines of Chucky throughout the entire. Thing. Perfect. <laughs> I think. I mean, I got to do some, that. I got That'd be time. a good Halloween episode. I got some editing. <laughs> hey, let's. There's a lot on the plate right now for what needs to happen for this Halloween episode coming up. <laughs> From what went from TBD, yeah, TBD, everybody. Let's just re- skip everything. Let's record Christmas. <laughs> we can do that. that sounds good. Uh, overall, though, um, I do like this. If I had to rate this beer right now, the old if. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not. Tony is not rating this. Not beer, rating. But this if right now. someone should walk up to him on the street right now after hearing yeah. this episode and say, <laughs> "What do you rate the Handy Andy from Eagle Park Brewing?" Out of five, I give it three point seven five. Ooh, solid. I think I'm with you. What did I give it when I drank it? It's there? uh, it could lean more towards a, a four. Um, I didn't check it in, so no, who knows? Loser. Um, <laughs> Yikes. You know, but so what I appreciate about this situation is i think like the the five or six ounces that are poured yeah. is the perfect amount for me to drink of sure. this because um as i drink it I, I mean i still enjoy it but like i'm getting this like the stickiness in my mouth yeah. and like it it it's almost like a, a palate overload not in a i, I, yeah, I don't want to say like not in a bad way but it's just like you know I think it's just so subtle with everything that it's just like I, I keep every time I drink it, I'm like searching for more. I'm like something else is there, something else is there, and it's not. And it's just like yeah. So I'm like, all right, I've had enough. Of it. No, but you're right. It, it's thick and sweet, and it, it it's a sweet melon. You don't need 16 yeah. ounces of it. No, 
So that's why Brandon so, yeah. with the extra cam. <laughs> you guys enjoy you the get yeah. handy. In. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You haven't had the next the the other one yet. Damn. Well, that's true. <laughs> I'm gonna you can have handy. In. No, on a, <laughs> on a separate note, there was one beer I had there that was crazy, and I they were out of the cans that I totally would have brought. It was a what did they call it? They, they called it. They a... called it Child's Play, the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this uh, episode is brought to you by Child's Play. It was a drum roll, please. Keep doing the drum roll and talk about something else, because uh, I didn't find it yet, but that's cool. That's cool. It would have been funny if the name of the beer was Drum Roll, Please, and you just making you do that. Oh, here we go. Okay, everybody. It, anyway, it was a blue beer. So it was like a <laughs> did sour you, Did coconut. you send a picture of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I... I, I, I I don't think I, I sent like, you a picture, but I checked it in. I feel like I saw a picture of that. Maybe did mm-hmm. you take a picture of it when you checked it in? I don't know. I might have. Oh boy. Here Although okay. maybe in one of the one of the beer groups recently, I think somebody posted a blue yeah. beer. Tiki Dave's Blue Hawaiian. Ooh. It's a sour ale with pineapple, orange, toasted coconut, and blue spirulina. What the hell is that? I think Maplewood puts that in their razzle. Oh, razzle. Razzle dazzle. You know, they're, they're, yeah, they I do know, a raspberry yeah. one, I think, and a blue one. Or blue uh, raspberry riz- and Rizzle, a... Rizzle, drizzle, or... Drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> fizzle, fizzle, drizzle. How oh, shizzle my nizzle. Okay. If only someone could look that up on a computer. Yeah, I wish somebody had a computer. I wish no, we hired someone but to be a this part one, of the show to do that shit. It might be on my draft list for the Maltese. Ooh. As, now, it wasn't the best thing I've ever had, but it was... By far the most interesting beer I've had all year. And that's what the Maltese are all about. Let's talk about the Maltese, everybody. If you're not familiar with the Maltese, go back to December 2020. As you know, one of the greatest years, 2020. Wow. (laughs) Uh, You know, the Maltese, you can uh, find out that's all about. There we go. Anyway, uh, just saying, they, they, as an aside, they have, it sort of reminds me of uh, Short Fuse. Okay. A uh, ton of different beers. About they had at least fifteen to twenty beers on draft, oh, nice. all varying degrees of types: hoppy, not hoppy at all, crazy blue, tiki drinks. That sounds awesome. And everything beers. else in between, um, which is my kind of brewery, just because I like to try every last thing. And yeah, I went a little I, crazy this time. I uh, that sounds good. That the tiki drink sounds yeah. sounds fun. You just brought up short fuse and reminded me that I actually have a. Short fuse for goodness shakes in my refrigerator, not one of the ones that we have. Yeah. Um, cousin KG brought it over, and maybe I'm gonna oh, try that. Yeah, I'm try that soon. Sweet, no, yeah, check it out. Oh, well, handy, Andy, you're all right. In my book, could I drink a full 16 ounces? Yeah, yeah, but Should I think I? By, the, by, the t- by the time I did I got last to- week and I survived, I, yeah, you know. Well. All right, well, I'm going to shotgun the other handy Andy before the night's over. <laughs> we'll see what happens next. <laughs> so next up, we're going to move on to the next beer. Um, Let's do it. This one uh, is pretty exciting to me. It's a sour. Uh, would you like to see it? Well, oh. no, I just give it a... I think a there's, a lot, there's a lot in here, so oh, I so think I should... it needs a little... You know, kind of oh. like the glitter beer. All the oh. glitter went to the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me get all the glitter out of this. The fireworks in this... Uh, can need to be shaken <laughs> before they're set off. Yeah. yeah, I can't. It's this new that's thing. A, I can't wait till it sprays all over the place after it's, I. Open I think it. that's enough. I, okay, just, do you want to shake it up? Like all yeah. over the this, one's, this one's called Jam Sesh, it's and my, it's a PB and J inspired ale. I swear Clark, to God, if this gets on my walls, you're dead, Clark. Clark, tell the kids what this is all about. This Ooh. is a Jeopardy. It's farmhouse ale, a saison. But Ooh. what kind of saison? Oh my God, it's like, is it a Dortmunder Gold saison? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. beer yeah, geniuses. Beer yeah, you geniuses know what? Give me the other one for this one. No, but it's uh, peanut butter and jelly inspired sour uh, with raspberry jam. Oof. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Take a picture. Of this. Peanut so butter much. milk what? drink. Uh, but it's good. Here, you want a little, uh, no, no. Anybody want a little more? There's a little bit, of, a little bit more at the bottom there. Would you like the a little s- bread at the bottom? It's there you go. Sludge. There's a raspberry seed right there. I can see it. I mean, there's true like, raspberries. This is a chunky looking beer. <laughs> <laughs> but smell it, taste it. Holy shit! <laughs> that smells like a peanut butter and jelly. Raspberry peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh man, this is exciting. All right, going in for the first sip. It does. Right. So everybody knows this. Uh, when I say like it looks bread. chunky, I mean there are like little floaters in there. Uh, it's like a br- reddish brown. Yeah, dark. It's, 
like a purple brown type. Yeah, reddish brown. You definitely cannot see through that no, glass. No, no, it's it's <laughs> it's crazy. This literally tastes. It, it smells like it smells raspberry. Like the uh, uncrustable that Benjamin had for lunch. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, surprising, right? <laughs> see, wow, that uh, now see what? Uh, on the on first sip, I feel like I could drink. A whole 16 ounces of this, <laughs> not of the handy andy. Yeah. Uh, this is sweet. It does taste like raspberry, and it does have that peanut butter flavor to it. This is insane. This is <laughs> this is very well done. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, I mean, they killed it with. It is 100 percent exactly what they say it is in a great way. This is really good. It's not too sweet, not too sour. I was concerned when you said it was a sour beer, and I was like, "Ooh, I can already feel." Yeah, that. I mean, it's. There's a tartness to yeah, it, tart. but it's not. But like... I think that's what they're, you know, attributing the sourness to, and that goes hand in hand with the, this is crazy. the berry that. Yeah, raspberry. I mean, raspberries are yeah. tart. I mean, this is. Are there, it this is, is ridiculous. It's not a pretty looking beer. No, looking Ooh, in my glass is kind of no. grossing me out. Yeah, this is the one you want to hide with your mystery beers and you don't see. Yeah, you just kind of sip it in the. You dark. got a red solo cup for it in there. No, and and this is like. Um, the funny thing is, like, if they did any kind of filtering on it, they would probably lose so much of the beer. Yeah. Um, like, it has to look like this. Right. You know? And it's 7.5%, so it's, you know, it's up there. Doable. But yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's sour ale with raspberry, peanut butter flour, and lactose. Peanut butter mm. flour, okay. Yeah, so peanut butter flour. Hmm. Is it, it's interesting. Is that literally like PB2? Or like, well, PB2 or is, is just no like flour. dehydrated like powder or something? Yeah. I'm just wondering if that's what it's like. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. This makes me want to make a peanut butter and jelly beer. I'll tell you that much. Somebody it's... should uh, look that up. See what a uh, peanut butter flour. Is. Yeah, I wonder if we have anybody who can find out what peanut butter flour. Yeah, is. what is peanut butter flour, guys? Does anybody know? I don't know. Let's let's, let's take a look. Uh, the design on the can is cool. It looks like uh, some goat-like creature uh, blowing on a horn, standing over a what looks like a mason jar. Is it a chupacabra? Was... Mm, no, that's a snake. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't yeah, a chupacabra it, a type it's snake? powder? I no, believe. chupacabra is not a snake. What is a chupacabra? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking of an anaconda. <laughs> kind of like. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there you go. I just found the intro to the show. <laughs> I thought it, it was. What was I watching the other day? And somebody was like, "If maybe it was like on Discovery Channel or something," and they were talking about Sasquatch, and then they were talking about chupacabras, and they're like. Chupacabra's just, oh, no, it was, a, I think it was uh, Gabriel Iglesias, uh, the comedian Fluffy, if you've mm-hmm. ever seen him. I think he was doing a thing about chupacabras, and he's like, it's like the Mexican version of the Sasquatch. It's like, it's <laughs> yeah. just smaller and skinnier, and it just does the same thing. It scares children everywhere. <laughs> like, I, was like, I, I have our answer. Oh, oh okay. thank you. Good. Uh, we were killing peanut time. butter flour is made from crushed and defatted peanuts and mm-hmm. made into a powder. Powdered peanut butter is made from ground peanuts with some added sweeteners or salt. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, so wait, what was the first one? Yeah, they, it's they removed the fat. Peanut flour is made from crushed and defatted peanuts. So yeah, so, like somehow they remove the cool. oil or something. Know. Maybe I don't know. Oh, low calorie, sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a low calorie. Yeah. So now, now I'm curious if like you went to like Adventures at Homebrew or like Northern Brew or whatever. I wonder if they sell peanut butter flour. Well, I don't know. I know a lot of. I know those places sell like the peanut butter extract. Yeah, which is an easy it, way to get into it. Yeah, like, but you could really overdo it. I don't know. I made a peanut butter uh, peanut uh, flour. porter one time that also I kind of overdid it with the PB two. PB two is I use yeah. that for the shakes. Those are good. P- protein shake, man. Get some PB two. Throw it right in there. Sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. You make a smoothie just like this. Just yeah, take a scoop of it and stick it in your mouth. I, I, I have tried it. It's pretty good. You, well, that's how I tried it the first time. I'm like, hmm, this is good. It's drying out my mouth, but it's delicious. PB2. <laughs> so I've, I've been trying to figure out if they do different uh, fruits with this, because mm-hmm. I think that would be fun to try, but I can't quite seem to I find anything It's possible that they don't. want to be. just buy a four-pack of this to like have it in my house for randomly wanting to drink it and like have people try it. <laughs> Here, I'm going to... Pour you something, yeah, not, not tell you tell anything you it about is. it. You can look at it. It's going to gross you out, like, looking at it. <clears throat> Sorry, Eagle Park. It looks gross. But, boy, the, the payoff of the aroma and the taste, it's, yeah. it's worth. I'll, I'll look at the mucky. God forbid you have the one friend that has a peanut oh, yeah. allergy. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. Try this. Okay, my, I was not typing in the right thing. They do have a ton. Uh, we got Blackberry. We got Double Jam Sesh. Ooh. Uh, 
Jam Sesh Conquered Grape Banana Marshmallow and Peanut Butter. What? When does that one okay. come out? Let's. Can we just get one of Do each shipped have a to us? Peanut yes. butter and fluff. Let's contact. Uh, can we contact Eagle Park a bit? But from now on, can you just send um, us some raspberry strawberry? The Concord banana? grape intrigues me because mm-hmm. yes, that was sure. like that was one of my go. Like, as a kid, I remember my mom always had oh. Concord grape. That was that was the, that was the jelly that I had growing yeah. up. It was always Concord grape. It was never. I never had raspberry or anything else. No preserves. It was always just straight up purple grape, baby. It's probably the cheapest one to get. At the grocery absolutely, store. absolutely. But it tastes good. Oh, yeah. Tastes really good. Now, if they could just do an almond butter one, that would be great. They're not going to. But if they did, that would be really they good. They told me when I was there. They told you specifically they're not going to do an almond yeah, butter they beer. Put did it you put down and they said, if you were wondering, I didn't even bring it up. They brought it up. You're <laughs> yeah. telling me that they brought yeah, up. Put the beer down. Okay. We don't touch any other nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, uh, Brandon, when we take our little uh, trip. We need to search and see if we can find some more uh, of this or any other ones that might be around. And, and maybe we need to just keep our eyes peeled from now on. Yeah. Well, so I've already, get some of the I've already got some uh, ideas of stops that we can make along the way. Excellent. Um, not necessarily just breweries, but um, beer stores in general. Mm-hmm. Because I've already got a... I basically already looked out to see where uh, New Glarus' Strawberry Rhubarb beer is. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And I have a list of all the stores that have it. So... I've got the raspberry tart from this year. And had I gone up to Wisconsin today, I was going to bring back the uh, peach one. Oh, yeah. Because uh, that's available. And it pesh or peach? Uh, no, or? no. It's a bunch of peach or something. It's a different one. Like Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike just sent me a picture of it. I, just, but... I, I know I love the strawberry rhubarb one. That one is yeah, and uh, I know that the Wisconsin Belgian Red is also yes. readily available all the time. I will bring back a four-pack of that. Did we talk about that? I don't think we had that on... The new Glarus episode when it was me and you. I don't think so. That one's awesome. Have you ever had the Belgian Red before? I don't believe it's I like have. drinking uh, cherry Jolly Ranchers. Oh. Yeah, it is ridiculous. I sort of remember you saying yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's my favorite. It's my favorite beer from them. It's it's so and I think it's like four and a half percent or something. They yeah, it's a lot of work. Easy a lot of a lot of work goes into that beer because if I'm not mistaken, on the American Homebrewers Association webpage they have. The recipe on how to make it. Well, the recipe is out there. They tell you how to do it, and they age it like it's aged in barrels. <clears throat> it's insane. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into that beer. But that's not what this episode's about. We're talking about Eagle Park Brewing. It's about Eagle Park yeah. Brewing, which I feel like I might have said Eagle Creek earlier. So I my apologies. So. I don't think so. If, if you did, did well, I'll, I'm not going to edit it, and I'm going to point. You it just out. change it to Eagle Park. <laughs> Here we are at Eagle Park. <laughs> Can you say uh, park in uh, various different inflections for the next 20 minutes so we can get the right one to park, match what you Park, say? park, park. Park, slower. Pack. Park. Pack. Pack. <laughs> Where'd you go? Eagle pack. Eagle pack. Oh, I went well, to the took my cat. <laughs> took my cat, Eagle pack. This is awesome. This is, uh, yeah, if good. I had to rate this on a one double. Again, if anyone just happens to walk by Tony any day. 4.25. <laughs> Look up Tony's untapped ratings mm-hmm. later. <laughs> I'm with you. It was a yeah, four I, would, I would definitely. I was literally. It was like it's f- good. Four two or four five. Yeah, four, four five. five yeah. It's pretty close. Um, I, I would like to try. I mean, I, I bet you that the peanut butter one would just kill it for me. That one would probably be a five for me. One hundred percent. Definitely would love to try the other variations. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll have to keep our eye out and uh, start to sure. shopping around as uh, you know. Guess we're gonna start finding Eagle Park. Snoop yeah. around. I'm sorry, Eagle Creek, as Clark called him. Either way. Tony, could you please say park in different inflections? For the park. Way? Park. <laughs> Pack. Perk. Park. Pork. Park. Pork. Is that good? Pack. Pack. <laughs> park. Hmm. All right. Well, that's okay. the episode, right? We have nothing else to Oh, break. there's one more. What? Eagle Park. <laughs> good. You know, we'll just use that every <laughs> yeah. time you say Eagle, Eagle Park. What's, uh, what's this one? What's, what's We've the next one? got... Fat stacks. <laughs> when you sent us the picture of all the beers that you bought, uh, because you were very excited, and you said, "Well, I'm either drinking all these beers alone, or we're doing an episode." Yeah, well, I'm glad we're sharing some of them. But yeah. I, well, the, this one part stood out that I love about them is That's their the message of Clark. I'm like, delete. <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, not only are their beers shit. fun, interesting, and delicious. Their cans are fun and interesting. Yeah, as well. their artwork is is pretty rad um go to their website go to their instagram check it all out yeah you'll see you'll see these three uh beers at least uh for this episode but this this last one is fat stacks and i'm guessing some of you might be able to guess what it's about it's an imperial stout with maple syrup and i thought it was about money 
Coco nibs. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, just a Coco. side note there. We're talking about how cool the artwork is. It says that EaglePartBrewing.com art by at beer beer b e a r b e a r dot co. Could be bear bear. Bear bear. Did I say beer beer? You I meant to say, sorry. <laughs> Hey man, these beers just run through me. Bear bears. Bear bear. Bear bear. B E A R B A R dot C O. So, uh, yeah. That's Hats off yeah. to them. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. Ooh, it, bear, bear Bear is Milwaukee, Milwaukee's creative studio and risography bears. Makers of things that don't look the same as everything else. <laughs> Clark, have you had this one before? I did have this one at the brewery, I believe. Looks like Coca Cola. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the new Coke Zero we're trying today. Mm, there's a new Coke Zero? Yeah. New new recipe, man. I actually have it at home. It tastes the same. Oh. <laughs> That's disappointing. I thought we could get maybe an after the final pour on the new Coke Zero. No. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Ugh. Interesting aroma. <laughs> oh, cool. I've got a bunch of chunks in mine now. Chunks. Oh, if you guys would have seen that. <laughs> so that's that's not a you know it's terrible thing. There's just some sediment. I didn't think to maybe I shouldn't have poured it so heavy and uh, rich there. Ooh. Yeah, hard. But that looked. Uh, I can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, you got some floaters around. Oh there. yeah, look at those chunks. There's some big chunks in there. It looks like looks like you're rafting your beer, man. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Maybe you should stop. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like chocolate chip pancakes, not just pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes. Um, where are we going with this? Let's see. Definitely um, maple on the nose. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely maple. Very sweet, sugary maple. Yeah. Uh, taste wise, it's not super sweet. It's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. There's a. But I get it maple is flavor. Sweet. It's not. Yeah. I, it, it's not, sweet, but there's not. a ten, there's a little bitterness on the end. Yeah. yeah. It's. It's not as sweet as uh, Handy Andy, no. I'll tell you that much. Um, Handy Andy can get pretty sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty sweet if you know what I'm talking about. Um, what are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> we'll tell you after the show. <laughs> yeah. Come see us after the show. What do you guys think about this one? What, do you, what are you guys feeling? Brandon first. Clark, you already have your own. You have your mind made up about um, this. This is true. So uh, <laughs> the aroma is definitely super pleasant. And it leads me into believing that I'm going to be drinking, you know, drinking something that's pancake esque. Um, what I'm struggling with is what seems to be, and, and I didn't know what it was until Clark said these are supposed to be chocolate chip pancakes. I'm getting an artificial chocolate. Yeah. Mm. And I don't know if it, it says because it says cocoa nibs, but I feel like the way that that's playing with the maple syrup in there. It does kind of, or whatever is in there as far as what uh, malts were used, it does kind of give off this. That's the, the bitterness. I yep. feel like I'm also getting... Yeah, like an artificial weirdness yeah. that comes off bitter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swirl my chunks around again. Hold on. Almost, like... They're floated to the top. <laughs> not burnt, but burnt-esque, I yeah. want to say. Like, I'm, yeah, you're right. And the, yeah, there's something with everything that's not quite quite meshy it's it's yeah like kind of hitting hitting each other and like well we're trying to work together and yeah it's it's real close because this is fine i mean it's good it's not bad if you had told me this was not chocolate chip or let's say sorry if the beer itself was not it was just pancakes and maple syrup and not chocolate take those cocoa nibs out i think i would enjoy this a lot more sure yeah yeah Yeah, for what for what it is for being a you know pancake beer I think you're right on that. I think I agree with you. Um, it's <clears throat> the chunks that I got at the bottom have really thrown me off. I'm sorry. Uh, I I'm didn't, curious to like what that is. It, it is. I don't know. It is floating now. I would like. Did they legit? You should take a picture of it. Did they legit floating chunks? Maybe it's pancake batter. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, there's beer. sediment in beers. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah, knock, yeah. I, I'm not knocking it off. It just kind of threw me off because I wasn't expecting it. Um, or that much of it. Yeah, those the chunks. In the chunks, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look like flat. I mean, I'm, the next sip I have, it's, I'm going to sip the chunk. Yeah, I'm not a fan of chunks in beer, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's weird? So something I saw like in, in, in the beer groups is something I've never noticed or luckily have not ran into yet is like people that have like barrel-aged stouts or whatever. 
like people have posted in beer groups that they're pouring out their beer and like a slimy almost looks like a slug comes out oh yeah and there's oh. a name to that oh really but I'm like what the? and it's like it's not necessarily a good thing but I'm like when I, when I started seeing that I'm like holy hell yeah. that would creep me the fuck out and like, like I'm I done I would not drink the rest no, of that thanks. beer but it's, it literally it's, looks it's like a sediment sl- it's like a slimy slug that's yeah. just like ugh Somebody was pouring one, what, like a video of it, and they're like, I, I saw it in here, and it's like, bloop. I was like, nope, Oy. nope. Well, luckily there's yeah. no slimy slug in this. Yeah, uh, so this is definitely not that, but <laughs> yeah. I the more it. sense I've taken of this, the l- more I've actually come to like it. Uh, that chocolate and maple, it's a little nicer, but it, that there's a bitterness that's throwing it off for me. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of running on the camp now that, you know, again, it gets a little better. What's weird now is I just took a sip and I swear to God I almost got like a butteriness, hmm. which was kind of odd. But I'm like Clark's warming his up. I'm wondering if as these get warmer, like the a chocolate kind of settles out a little bit more. Maybe, maybe the chunks. This would will be a good too. one, like to revisit like room temperature for sure. Well, well yeah, your chunks. There you go. Better, well, like I said, put it by the fire and uh, you guys the fire. There you go. Brandon, you can have both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, Brad. We're taking these camping with us, baby. Actually, those, those can, are going to be fun to drink. You can drink that with pancakes. Mm, yeah, that's how we're going to start. To well, pancakes I mean, and cowboy steaks. <laughs> when, when you think about it, when you do have chocolate chip pancakes, I've never, I, I like them. I've never been a huge fan of them. Because mm. I think there is, especially if you use semi sweet uh, yeah, you, you chocolate that, chips, it'll that get a does burnt flavor. give you that bitterness. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know. No, I, I get that. But why in the world do anybody ever want to mess with something as holy and lovely as a, just a regular pancake? Yeah, I agree. So, <laughs> all right, I take my final sip because a little bit that's left, I'm only going to end up with like chunks in my mouth. Um, so, Tony, uh, someone's randomly walking typical by you. Typical Sunday night for Tony. Asks you, to, uh, <laughs> asks you to rate it just out of the blue. One out of, uh, one out of five. Uh, to be honest, I'd probably give this 3.5. Really? Oh, that was more generous than I thought you would be. Yeah, no, three point five. It's it, because it's it is a good. I think it's a good stout. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually would like to taste the base of the stout without the chocolate and the yeah. maple because I feel like that's a good sure. <clears throat> imperial stout that's not like overly sweet. Yeah. Like it's got that. It, and it, I will say for all three beers. Well, what was um. What was the peanut butter and jelly? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. So those are, I mean, ten, ten, and seven and a half. Nothing Wait, was this very... this ten? No. Yeah, this one's ten. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this one's ten. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, Get two, it out. Two, two, Get ten. It out. <laughs> Get out of me, demon. <laughs> Here comes the slug. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, th- b- these beers are easy drinking, and they're good, and they're refreshing. Yeah. This isn't overly sweet. The first one was a bit sweet, but I think the cashmere melon also kind of, like played into that a bit more the peanut butter and jelly one was very good and this one that bitterness has kind of subsided for me the last couple of sips yeah i i I, it's not you know let's crack open the other one and let's just keep going and see you know how and then we do the handy andy one again see how that is warmed up no well yeah so i would say that um if i were to rank my favorites of the evening it would obviously be uh jam sesh for sure into Handy Andy and ending it with Fat Stacks. And not, uh, I would drink all three again, yes. for sure. Yeah. Just because I rated them one way doesn't mean I, I wouldn't change it in the future. But as of right now, me trying these, uh, they're all they're all good beers and worth trying. If um, anybody gets a chance to do it, I would say go seek them out. Because uh, nothing like a maple syrup stout in a melon triple IPA that fucking drinks almost well, like a pale Well, that's what ale. I liked about all three of them. Yeah. They're, they're fun to try. Absolutely. Yeah. And the, I enjoyed them. This it wasn't is, like, oh, this yeah. one was a complete miss. No, no, but no. They're no, all no. different, you know. And our, and our drinking very... of this is in no way... Sorry to cut you off, no. but I did. Um, yeah, he, that's what he gets paid for. He gets paid to get cut off. <laughs> um, our, our drinking and like talking about this is in no way to discourage people from Not drinking, no. you know, trying anything, you know. There's there's been things on here that we've talked about that we just don't like, but it's just not necessarily our style. Taste so, is, is completely yeah, subjective. Subjective, one hundred percent. But that being said, these are definitely worth trying regardless yeah. of what you think. And we'll have unless we you're have allergic it. to peanuts. And no, don't, don't do don't, not drink the jam sesh. Don't do it. Do not do it. <laughs> don't do it. It's a bad idea. Oh, wait, look at all these pub snacks next to me. I didn't even realize these were here. I bought uh, them for you. Oh, thanks, ma'am. Guys, 
<laughs> he threw you in there. That was nice of him. Clark, thanks Got for... Got some jerky for you to try, too. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm still snacking on the last batch. Very good. Snacking. Oh, you still have a hot sauce here uh, that I brought maybe two recordings ago. You gave me one. Did, no, did, you did. Oh, you gave me last time? The last time I gave it to you. Yeah, I've been using it. It's good. Oh, good. Thanks, man. Put it on my chocolate chip pancakes. Ah, well, that's what you know. lime, cilantro, <laughs> jalapeno hot sauce is all about. Yeah, I put a little bit of this in there with the last can, maybe... Oh, maybe that's the that chunks. Was the chunks? That's what it was. I put a little bit of your <laughs> sauce. Well, guys, I got some maybe habaneros. It. So I got uh, I got some habaneros. I just picked so there was some habanero hot sauce. I got some uh, ghost peppers coming. if you want some. Yeah, I'll trade you with habaneros. <laughs> Sounds good. Ooh, soon the, the 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 peppering hour will be coming soon. The pepper hour, not peppering. <laughs> Clark, these was uh, these these were <laughs> these were uh, good picks of beers. To, these was these was these uh, beers was nice. Good uh, good selection of beers to for an episode, man. Well, thanks um, for indulging me. Uh, no, I definitely want to go part. back because they're gonna no. have so many other things to try every time. You are welcome to bring us beer to talk about on the show anytime you'd like. Clark. Oh, oh, great! Yeah, did you not know that that you could do that? Oh, I just I was like, oh, I we hope will they make. Don't, I hope they don't mind about Clark if he brings beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I mean, you can host more episodes like fully if you want to bring all the. I should beers. have just done one at the brewery when I was there. You could have. This is Clark reporting live from Eagle Creek. We're going on to our twelfth. <laughs> yeah. Can you say? Uh, can you say park twenty times in different inflection? Park, 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 pork, pork, mm. perk, prack. Oh, I'm a that last one I think was perfect. Yeah, that's what we're keeping. Eagle Prack, Eagle, Eagle Prack, uh, Eagle Park Brewing up there in Wisconsin. Uh, this is this is good. This is fun. This so is really what, tasty. Uh, you read it at the beginning. Like, what's the city it's from? Oh, because uh, I'm assuming is that where their other location is? Well, so um, they have a Milwaukee and, uh, and Muskego e- is where this is, it says. That's there. where that's the one I went to. Okay, and no. there is another location in Hamilton, which is I think in the city. A musical, okay. uh, right? Right. The musical Hamilton. But the right. name comes from it's two brothers. No, no, that's a different brewery. That's in that's in like oh, like Brandon's Naperville. Yeah, Glass Edge. You're thinking you're thinking the, the, uh, the brewery was founded by Hornville. two Thank you. gentlemen who happened to be brothers. That lived together growing up, probably with their family, who now grew a beer together. <laughs> How did they and the two, two brothers cross live in the same house? <laughs> had Eagle and Park in their name. Or maybe yeah. it was Creek. Can't remember. Oh boy. It's probably Park because that's the name of the fucking brewery, man. <laughs> it says it on the can that we're staring at. Yikes. Uh, you kill me, Smalls. They also make spirits, just so you know. Ooh. Like the Ghostbusters? Yeah. They, they, they made spirits. the spirits for the new Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> Excellent, good. I just watched the trailer what, uh, again today. What? Um, I love Paul Rudd. What spirits do they make? Sorry. Oh, we've got vodka, gin, vanilla, cheesecake, cream, liqueur, bourbon. It's a hard pass. <laughs> Before he got the liqueur, <laughs> I was like, vanilla cheesecake. That doesn't fit in with the. That's spirit. not a spirit, dude. That's a baked good. It says it's just great over ice. Let's do it. All right, we should get some of that. I was this close to buying um, a pumpkin spiced ice coffee. Uh, like container at the grocery store because it says I can't even I literally can't even on the bottom of it and I'm like mm, this is funny I kind of want this it's funny I, I haven't drank it I bought it when I was on vacation in June it was a hard coffee how was uh, that I didn't drink it oh, oh, oh if it's the one that my mom purchased uh, she bought a hard coffee last time she was or two last did, two times ago when she came in and we tried it and she opened it up she didn't shake it well enough. And so one night I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. Shook it up, opened it. It was pretty fucking good. It, it tasted like Yoohoo. So I don't know if it was at, at another brewery we we're going to talk about probably in a few weeks uh, up in Michigan, Arc Light. Uh, they had a hard coffee on draft, and I think Eagle Park might have as well. Eagle Creek. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but no, I'm going, man, that, the name of the <laughs> that sounds delicious. Which one do you have? You gotta get Brandy, into that. Can I take yeah. a look real quick? I mean, now this has nothing to do with the episode, but now I'm now I'm interested because I want to well, know if it's wondering. the same one. Because if it's the same one, uh, it's pretty good. It was like an iced mocha, uh, Ooh. hard coffee. Smooth. It That's it. Mocha latte. Right. Huh. You got to shake it up for. If you guys want to try it, I'd be down to have some because it is. Go it's right like ahead. drinking chocolate milk, man. Shake well. Mm-hmm. It's like drinking chocolate milk. We got an after the final pour. We got to do anyway. Yeah. Let's not do that. All right. Um, yeah. Eagle Park Brewing up there in Wisconsin. Clark, thank you for providing the beers. It was very kind of you. Very welcome. Not being around for Hubbard's Cave, and you still provided beers for this next episode. It's the least Lovely. Brandon, I love you, man. Love you too, bro. Clark, welcome back, baby. Peace out. Till next time, bitches. Peace. <laughs> oh. I, I didn't say bitches, did I? You Fuck, did. that's not what I meant. I meant creek. I mean, park. Peace out, people.
This has been The Malting Hour. Be sure to follow us on all social media by searching The Malting Hour and at themaltinghour.com. You can also follow us on social media platforms individually. Brandon can be found on Instagram as bmdub81, on Twitter, bdub81, on untapped, bdub drinks beer. Tony can be found on Instagram and untapped under Ace of Phelps Chicago, on Twitter, the Ace of Phelps Chicago. Clark can be found as Clarkowski on all three. Be sure to subscribe, like, and rate the show on your preferred podcast listening platform. Until next time, cheers from all of us at the Malting Hour. I do. I got a lot of work tomorrow. Planning hostas in the side of my house. <laughs>